Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Max from the Video Game Nexus and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Last time, we started off the adventure going through and, get, and uh, getting into Gruntilda's lair. Having to collect all the uh, empty honeycomb pieces in the Spiral Mountain and then started off Mumbo's Mountain. And in this episode, we're gonna unlock this. A magical cauldron! If we find two more of the same color, we could be able to get a shortcut. Run back over here and you can be able to also get yourself a nice little mumbo token. And in this episode, uh, we're not actually going to be playing from two levels uh, this time. Instead, we're actually going to be going through the level that we just unlocked, being uh, Treasure Trove Co. And we also got this character. Meet... Gruntilda. I've tried to remember what Gruntilda's, Gruntilda's name was. She's the nicest sister, and she'll basically tell us... Uh... Oh, yeah, right here. All of her disgusting secrets. Three of them every time when, she, when we find her. And if you happen to have low health, she will top you up. And something about avoiding a fiery fate. Yeah, um, that is another thing. There is another level Jigsaw over there for Clanker's Cavern, but we don't have the ability to be able to get up there yet. That's what this next level is for. And in fact, uh, there's two things that we plan to go in here. For starters, if we go in here, we can find ourselves find ourselves an enemy, but we can also find ourselves another magical cauldron. I'm just gonna kill that guy, but I'm not gonna take any of the, any of his honey. I still want to see how long I can go before I uh, have to legitimately use it or lose a snipe ton of problems or progress. Going this way will lead us to Clanker's Cavern, but we don't necessarily need it right now. Instead. We want to go down here and dive in here. Diving into this little body of water will let us, will lead us to a little cavern, or cavern, cave, whatever, a little tunnel, if anything, which will reveal another level. Click Clock Woods. In fact, this is actually the final level in the game. However, we can't unlock it right now. We also have Brentilda again. I hope I'm saying her name right. Another Mumbo token, and I believe there is a hidden trophy around here, I think. Oh, it might be over here. Is it? Ha ha! Huzzah! We had full, full lives now. After that, it starts uh, just staying at nine until you lose the amount of lives to start draining it from nine to eight. But anyways, let's cut with the chit chat. And let's enter in the next level, Treasure Trove Co. Treasure Trove Cove is a very fantastical level, in my opinion. Plenty of things to go around here. Two new moves and a bunch of sea creatures that we can take out. I believe these are called pincers. I don't fully remember. Uh, and we have a Jinjo down here. And the main gimmick of the water in this level. Snacker. This dude will bite you as you saw, but there enough times. Ow. He actually used to scare the heck out of me. Oh, jeez. I want to take this guy out before we really start uh, 
There we go. Now he's down. Now we have a boatload of health that we could go and grab. But we're not gonna actually go and do that. Because I'm committed to the bit. I'm not gonna take any health. We will have to take him out later, but in the meantime, we also got another guy over here, which, uh, I'm not gonna grab yet. As much as I want to go after this dude, I don't trust myself with, with very low health. In fact, I actually don't know when Nipper uh, shows up again. So I have to be real fast here. But with that being said, we have our first honeycomb piece, that, or empty honeycomb piece. And we have a new item, actually, up on the trees. Some red feathers. Collecting these will let us be able to learn how to fly, but we need to talk to bottles. We also have another new enemy that's around here somewhere. Actually, it's going to be on to our left. Uh, some sea clams. Who basically, uh, when you get hit by them, they will knock out a few of your items. Not necessarily notes, but more or less your eggs and your... Feathers. I was trying to remember what the word was. Wait, wait, wait. Anyways, here we have another. Or here we have the other ability that we can be able to do the shock jump. Basically, think of this as like a springy tigger jump from Winnie the Pooh. And we're getting our health refilled. Thank you, bottles. Also, I love the sprite for uh, Banjo and Kazooie uh, for the health because it just shows that they're getting more and more in, like upset with your BS when you get them hurt. Here we have our very first Jiggy that we can go ahead and collect. Actually, one of the jiggies that you can be able to avoid the little jiggy dance. But in order to do so, you need to actually be blind. Here we have a mandatory one that we need to take, so we have to get ourselves some more musical notes. Thought I could make it. These clams can jump on these boxes too, by the way. So just be super careful because you might get blindsided by one of them. Here we have another uh, character, Leaky. Kill him with three eggs and he'll be patched up. Now we can empty out the water for this. There was another new enemy, a land. Somewhat of a little hidden boss right there. Ooh. More of a mini boss, if anything. I forgot if that thing actually did have a health pip or not. Ooh. Going down into here, we have ourselves a little mini game. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puddle and win my prize. The puzzle is right here. Banjo Kazooie, so you just. It's a time thing. Spell out Banjo. And Kazooie. Uh oh. Where's the end? Oh, there's the end. Oh, there's Jay. They basically give you like a minute and like, what, 45 seconds, I think? I don't know, I could be wrong on that one. Oh. Where's he? I believe there's another A, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh. Get this one. I oh, know there's an I. Oh, there it is. Ooh. I thought I almost 
Now we've taken the... health pips that is in there because i'm i'm pretty sure that one's supposed to give you like three or four or no two or three uh bits of honey ah, hopefully, that hopefully that didn't pick up on the microphone most likely it did Heading over here. Actually, I think now I... Uh, I think Snacker might be back now. Yes, he is. Ah, crap. Wait a minute. Can we actually melee him? I wonder. Okay, so we can't. That's good to know. Here we have some uh, treasure chests. That, yeah, I can do that. Pick up those guys. Some more feathers. I believe there's another trophy down here. Yep. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, there's another area. Actually, I think it's... Is it down there? No, it's not down there. Oh, I know where it is. It's actually going to be um, going up into the area that we next to. First of all, I'll grab on this. And now we have to follow the clues to look for gold. Oh wow, we did it in the <laughs> We did it in sync to the uh to the actual like <laughs> Okay. That was a little close because I'm pretty sure that would have actually killed us. Slippery, and I don't think Kazooie would actually stay on them, too. Could be wrong. Oh no, she can easily stay on them. I'm just talking out my butt. Jiggy down there. That mine immediately looked at us. Because we got into his range. When you get when you get into a certain range of it, then it will start actually going after you. But luckily, we're not. Alright, he doesn't follow you like underwater. I'll take it. Eggs. Oh! I should have up 
here. I'm so hell-bent on, on keeping this alive, I don't want to actually die either. This guy I know we can easily take out just from... Bent on making it on making sure that we don't actually get any of the help. I'm just wanting an, an actual little bit of a challenge. We're back, we're gonna go ahead and talk about it right here and unlock our second ability. Damn, calling her chicken legs, dude. That's kind of messed up. Now we can be able to fly. But you gotta stand on a flying desk in order to be able to do that. Go figure. And he gives us 25 feathers. Energy is a little low. Fill it up. Thank you. Learned all the coves to do moves. Alright. We're not done with this area yet. In fact, uh... Meet a recurring character. Captain Blubber. You know, I wouldn't mind if Kazooie actually sounded like that constantly. I think it would have been better, because at least in the second game, it would actually sound like, you know, like, a few years have actually legitimately passed. Because I think uh, what they did with it then was that after once, uh... Yeah. Uh, this is, like, the only game that actually has a different voice... Uh, sound for when you do it, I think. Because I think if you hold A or A or Z, um, it stays the same in Tui. So that was one gold. There's a speedrunner trick that you can actually be able to do here as well. If you if you position yourself just right, you can actually have Captain Blubber push you into the into the uh, jiggy. We have plenty of help. we have plenty of air, so I can take my time with this. Obviously, of course, don't do that if you have like super low air, or heck, if you have. Uh... Oh, you know that would actually be interesting—a chaos mod for Banjo Kazooie. Is that an actual thing? I might have to look it up. <laughs> There's the gold. New treasure. Oh, we could have positioned ourselves in general. Damn. There we go. Oh. All right. Whoa. Camera cuts. I don't think there's anything around here, I don't think. There is an hun empty honeycomb piece that we do need to get, though. Oh, hello. Hello there, Snacker. Hello, Snacker. What you doing here? Oh, right. Oh, hi there, Snacker. Again. Snacker number two. Snacker number three. Snacker number four. Snacker number five. Snacker number six. Yeah, get away from me. Haha, <laughs> you cockroach. Get out of here. Anyways. Let's go ahead and climb up. Oh, hey, there's another Ecom Pokemon. Ecom Pokemon. Those clams are coming after us. And I never know why. Alright, flying controls are pretty simple. Actually, oh. 
You'll need some red feathers in order to be able to do it. Press the A button to use one. And... Okay, yeah. B does not work. Uh, there is an ability that you can get uh, later on. In fact, it's in one of the levels that I think we might have to go break into two parts. Which is going to be really interesting because, um, actually... We don't really need it. I was hoping I could be able to find the uh, empty honeycomb piece, but I just couldn't. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get this Jinjo. Wait. <laughs> Huzzah! So if you happen to notice that I be that I'm doing the ground pound before falling uh, large distances, uh, the reason for that is because when you do that, it lets you negate all fall damage. So like, th this was a thing that was even in the third uh, in the second game, where you're in like a huge area, and you can just uh, jump and. Beak Bash. Oh, damn it. Well, that's how long we got. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to take it. I'm not even going to do another take. Unless if I actually feel like that, uh, this episode is bad. But so far, so good. Nothing but eggs around here. I'm trying to figure out where the... Oh, hello. Ginger! Oh. Oh. Wow, we're already at seven jiggies already? Woo! I was thinking that this is gonna take longer. Well, whatever the case is, let's go ahead and continue on. All right, we still need to do, uh, we still need to do the treasure as well. Well, now we can go and collect, uh, any honey that we need. There's another Jiggy. And if we go in here, not only do we get another Ikamboko, but we also get ourselves a nice little... Brand new Jiggy. Oh, it is fantastic to be able to do this. And you can do it at like any height. And the game will not care. If I remember correctly. Whoa! I don't even know how I got that to happen. What the heck? There we go. Knock him down a little bit. Funnily enough, uh, that's not the amount of health that you can actually get from those guys. If you do the ground pound on them, I think when they're, like, upright, it does enough damage to somehow squeeze out an extra bit of health. Go ahead and continue on this area. We still got uh, Nipper to grab, which is right behind us, actually. Where's that box? Yeah, there's Nipper right there. Uh, swimming, or not swimming. Uh, flying is just the same thing as swimming. If you hold the Z or the R button or ZR if you're using a Switch Pro controller, which I'm not, um, you can be able to start doing sharp turns. Makes things a little easier. 
Also, I'm pretty sure this version of the game is running on an actual emulator. I'm pretty or at least that's what I feel like, and I could very well be uh, just slow on an update on that one. Yeah, there you go. See, it gives you two health instead of the usual one. So, uh, the treasure chest was taunting us, saying that, hey, we'll never find it. There's the X right there. Wow, the honey got all the way to the actual platform. I wasn't surprised. I'm surprised it actually did that. Smack this little guy. I'm surprised I hit it, but we got it. We got one more G to collect. And one more empty honey to collect, I believe. Let's take a look at the total. We're still missing 83 notes. Or wait, we're still missing a few notes. Not 83 notes. <laughs> oh, right. I know where the empty uh, thing is. I was trying to get to it, but I just don't remember where it was. I think it's out this way. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I have fooled, fooled you again, Nipper. Yeah, ass clown. Anyways. Uh, we might still need to roam around in the area as well, because I'm pretty sure there are a few more notes that we can be able to grab. I think there were some notes that were on a tree. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say, I'm pretty sure there were some notes on some trees. Uh, yeah, there's some up there. And then I think the rest of them might actually be in Nipper shells. Let's take a look there. Let's not go falling now, please. You know, while, while we're, uh, just doing a little bit of a cleanup here, uh, I found out that Stu, that Stu's, uh, voice actor from, uh, the Rugrats passed away, and I'm like, what the hell? I didn't know about this, number one, and then number two is just all like, man, I miss him. He was like one of my favorite characters. And speaking of Rugrats, I wouldn't mind actually doing one of the Rugrats games. I kind of want to do uh, Rugrats in Paris on the N64, but that's more of a minigame collection. That would probably be better to play on stream because the game is just dorky as all hell. But I also kind of want to do uh, Rugrats Royal, Royal Ransom. Uh... Because that one lets you play as, like, basically all the characters, with the exception of, like, Angelica and Susie. But you also get fun little character uh, moments, like, just going through the entire level and having Angelica just taunt you. Alright, where is... There he is. Nipper! How you doing? Oh, we're right by a Nipper. This is Nipper's much. Fine, they'll be back to the Up us then, crustacean brain. Cheeky bird needs feathers clipping. Woo! Invincibility frame, for the win! Oh, you hurt Nipper. Oh, you hurt Nipper. Oh! And then after that, he legitimately just dies. Or he becomes these three uh, crustaceans that are actually in here. And I think these are actually the final notes. Indeed they were. We found all 100 notes. <laughs> also got a bunch of... Eggs. We're missing a little bit of help, so why don't we top up? And just take those for no reason. And with 
that? That is Treasure Trove Cove done. Now, let's get the hell out of here. I do like this shell area, though. It uses the same music that's in the that's in the uh, sand castle. But I just love this. I love that little area. Anyways, so now that we've collected everything, and we can actually see that there's a boatload of honey left, uh, any honey that you do not collect will just disappear because, you know, the map is actually changing into something else. Let's get a final total just to make sure. We were in here for 26 minutes. Whew. That's an episode in and of itself. And that will actually be uh, it for the episode. We now have 100 notes, so if we happen to uh, go back in there, all the notes will still be active, so you can be able to collect them again if you want to. But we're not going to do that, unless you're also playing the, the Xbox version of the game. Once again, I want to just re uh, reinstate that. Or, not reinstate, but you get what I mean. Let's go ahead and actually open up the next area. And get a preview of what the next area looks like. There we go. Looks fancy already. And if we want to place all the parts, we can just hit the Z button. I don't want to do that because I'm a bitch. With that said, my name is Max. I'll catch you guys later for the next episode of Bandit Kazooie where we go through Clanker's Cavern. Until then, take care, y'all.